What's going on Washington Commander fans? It's your boy back with another video. Hit that like, hit that subscribe, hit that share, hit that bell. More content definitely on the way. It's been an absolute pleasure watching Adam Peters and Dan Quinn work this offseason. I mean, from the beginning to the end, from the coaching hirings to the to the free agent moves to everything and, and shaping this roster. You know, did I agree with everything they did? I, I In the beginning, I didn't agree with the Jahan Dotson thing. I'm not going to lie. Kind of like I was like, whoa. But then I realized that Dan Quinn has told us all along he wants physicality. That's what he preaches. He wants a physical football team, and maybe Jahan didn't fit that structure. And also, in the words of um, Joe Witt Jr., this, this isn't for everybody. This scheme isn't for everybody. And in order to take this team where these guys want, they got to get the guys that they want, the guys that they trust, the guys that they think can, can help take us to the next level what we've been waiting for for years and it was evident when you when you look at how they literally purged how they literally purged this roster they literally purged 80 percent of the of the whole 2023 draft only the first round pick um emmanuel forbes and the second round pick Quan martin is here from that draft everybody else is gone and they did the the same thing to most drafts. There's nobody here from 2020 but Sam Cosby. Now, Cole Turner, he's gone. Ricky Stromberg, gone. Andre Jones, gone. I mean, it was just like, yo, the Grim Reaper was coming and he was collecting playbooks. And they're putting their own stamp on this football team. And when I look at it, it shows me one thing that this team just wasn't good enough the players that we revered and the players that we want to keep they wasn't good enough to get the job done for one reason or the other either they didn't fit what we were trying to do looking forward or they wasn't they was equally as good or if not better than the guys that they bought in that's just the bottom line it's the, it's the bottom line. Adam Peters, he comes from San Francisco. He comes from New England, where, he's, where he helped construct some of the best rosters in the NFL. He came from Denver when they were winning. So he knows what this thing looks like. Dan Quinn, do you remember Dallas Cowboys defense the year before he got there? They were the worst in the National Football League. He turned it around in one offseason. I'm not saying he's turning this around in one offseason, but and, and the things he did in Atlanta by reaching the Super Bowl. So he knows what it looks like. He knows what he wants his system looking like. And I can't, I can't disagree with that. I've never built a football team, so I can't. I can, I can give my opinion, but it really don't matter. <laughs> so I'm just going to enjoy this ride, man. I'm, I'm going to enjoy the ride and, and the moves we made. I, we don't have to go over them. We don't have to go over the 53-man roster. I mean, every content creator is giving you that. But this is the beginning. This is the beginning of a new day in Washington. Hell, man, we're getting on the field in nine days. And... What's my predictions for this team? I don't really have one. Only thing I want out of this team right here is to compete every week. And then we build off of that. And then we keep adding until we get the product that we want. That Adam Peters wants. That Dan Quinn wants. That's all we can ask for. That's it. We can't ask for more than that. That's all. So, that's just let me know the lack of talent that was on this team. And the lack of talent showed last year we only won four games. Now, keep in mind, a lot of that was coaching. 
A lot of that was coaching. A lot of that was bad roster moves. Hell, a lot of that was Dan Snyder. A lot of that, all of that's cleaned up now. We got a fresh start, fresh general manager, a motivated coaching staff, players that I think are going to play together. You could, you could just see them on the sideline when we're making plays. Jonathan Allen, he wanted to get out of here last year. As soon as he talked to Adam Peters and Dan Quinn, he was on board. So I think they're doing it the right way. And that's all you could ask is doing it the right way. The only thing you can ask is to look like a quality organization, to look like a regular NFL outfit. Hell, to look like all the other teams in the National Football League. That's really all you can ask for. And then the foundation is laid. And now the thing that's going to happen now is we got a quarterback. Now you're going to have free agents that want to come here. You're going to want to have defensive players that want to come here, offensive players that want to come here, receivers that want to come here. You got a superstar quarterback potentially in the making. And if he reaches his ceiling, I heard somebody say he's really already at his ceiling. But if he reaches his ceiling, that's more fans. That's more everything that you can ask for. And I think that Adam Peters and company, they did a great job of actually just making this team credible. Making this team, this team's going to compete. This team's going to play hard. I have no doubt in my mind this team's going to play hard. I can't tell you the record, but I, I can tell you this. I think this team's going to play hard. I mean, the mentality of Dan Quinn alone is infectious. When he got here, I was all bought in. I didn't want Dan Quinn. I mean, I'm on record saying that I didn't want Dan Quinn. But when I seen the moves that were made, when I seen the coaching staff that was built, when I seen the free agents that came, when I seen the Jaden Daniels draft, and when I seen the players that he did keep, I was like, man, we about to go to war. Let's take command. Let's take command. Let's take command.